Am I the asshole? For telling dinner for a friend with allergy not knowing miso isn't gluten free? My partner and I 35 NB and 60 M hosted a dinner party for some friends, let's call them Mark and Gertrude. Gertrude is allergic to gluten so cooking for her has always been a bit of a challenge. I really didn't want to have a dinner party on a Wednesday because I am the gourmet cook in the household and people expect me to make gourmet food for them. I work late that day so the time I start cooking dinner, I am already exhausted. But Mark and Gertrude insisted on coming ASAP. Because Gertrude is unemployed while Mark was recently laid off. I offered to refer him to my current employer who is hiring for multiple positions and Mark wants to see what's available. So I ended my WFH day at 3.30 and began slow cooking oxtail stew. I mix my own sauce using fresh ingredients and a little bit of miso. For some reason most probably tiredness kept thinking miso is gluten free because it's made of soy, not wheat or corn. My partner Casper offered me to help me do some cooking and when he saw the miso, told me that miso can have trace gluten in it and we can't serve the ox tail. By the time dinner had been stewing for over 1.5 hours and there was not enough time to make anything else. So we ordered sushi takeaway instead. When Gertrude and Mark arrived she was excited to smell the oxtail cooking on the stove, because that was her favorite. I apologized and explained the situation and offered sushi instead. Gertrude was quiet the whole evening and star daggers at me. It got worse because Casper and Mark are both socially inept and dug into the oxtail stew while commenting on how delicious it was. At that moment I really wanted to dig a hole in the ground and disappear. Later today I saw that Gertrude had made a passive aggressive social media post calling me TA without actually naming me. Her words were something along the lines of some stupid asshole thought it was a good idea to add miso in a dish that never required miso for thousands of years just to feel smart. And now my dinner was ruined. SMH. The comments were agreeing with her and there are other allergic people calling me an ignorant asshole. And I just feel really bad. I tried to do two nice things for Mark and ended up being called TA. So am I the asshole? Of course you're not the asshole. You didn't know me so had gluten. Gertrude really overreacted. I don't know why she stared daggers at you. You provided something else to eat. I'm sure it's not the first time she's been at a meal while others ate something she couldn't have. And to shame you about it on social media was disgraceful. She needs to get over herself. They don't sound like good friends either, insisting they come over early. Don't they understand the meaning of the word no? I'd have been tempted to tell them if they came early I wouldn't open the door. I would never invite these assholes to dinner again. They insisted on coming on an inconvenient night. You made an error so ordered take out sushi and instead of saying thank you she posts on social media about it. Wow. I can't fathom the rudeness. Not the asshole. So let me summarize and see if I have this straight. A couple of unemployed moochers invited themselves to your house for dinner on a weeknight. Then when you accidentally put gluten in one of the dishes, you made accommodations for the gluten allergy person. And they complained about the food? Not the asshole. I spent hours cooking dinner for a couple of guests midweek after a long day, because one of them wanted to come over so I could do them a favor. In my exhaustion, I made a mistake and included an ingredient one of them was allergic to. I immediately ordered food in, as there was no time to cook something else from scratch, and felt awful because all that effort had been wasted. Then, the guest decided I had been an asshole to her for my honest mistake, and bitches about it on social media, calling me names. I don't think I'll be cooking for her again. Some stupid now my dinner was ruined. Wow. The entitlement. You understand that you no longer have to invite Gertrude over anymore, right? Themes fying words. Bugs Bunny. You made a mistake. Not the asshole don't cook for her again. What did the label on the miso say? I am gluten intolerant the white miso paste I buy does not list any gluten allergens, and has never caused me any problems. 
Looking it up, I see that miso paste made with fermented soy and rice is gluten-free like mine, while some kinds may have some fermented wheat or barley and are not gluten-free. Not the asshole. You didn't intentionally do anything wrong. By the time it was pointed out to you that miso contained trace amounts of gluten, it was too late to do anything. You did provide sushi for her to eat. Gertrude is an R. Instead of accepting what happened as a mistake, she chose to roast you on social media. Not a mature or nice person. I personally would never, ever, invite them to dinner again. Let your partner meet Mark for coffee or lunch if they want to catch up or network. Hugs and good luck. She got sushi and she complained about a ruined dinner? X200B. People should be so lucky. X200B. Not the asshole. X200B. Edit also not all miso has gluten. So you weren't even necessarily wrong in the first place. Not the asshole. Your unemployed friends insisted on coming ASAP for dinner, used an ingredient that is usually gluten-free not all miso labels have the ingredients in a language other than Japanese, you provided a reasonable substitute for the guest, and she sniped at you online. Please tell me she didn't use soy sauce with her sushi. Not the asshole, but please never cook for Mark and Gertrude again. Sit Casper down, show him this post and Gertrude's post and explain how exhausting it is to go out of your way only to be bashed online for a small mistake. You cook when you feel like it not when someone forces you into a corner by coming over ASAP. Gertrude can kick rocks. Not the asshole. You made a mistake and corrected it. But 35 and 60? What's up with that? Not the asshole. That would be the last time she was able to cross over my threshold, much less eat my food. Not the asshole. Gertrude sounds like an awful human being. You tried doing something nice for them and made a mistake. I also never would have thought miso had gluten in it. Also, they invited themselves over to your house for dinner expecting some gourmet meal likely because they're struggling financially right now and didn't want to pay to go out. I would seriously hesitate to ever spend time with her again. The fact that you're even questioning how big of an asshole move that is for her to make is kind of ridiculous. Not the asshole. You made an honest mistake and tried to rectify within the time limits you had available. Gertrude's post is unbelievable. Her dinner was ruined. Why are you calling them your friends again? Notar but you need to learn to stand up for yourself a lot more invite people when it's convenient, not when they want to come and order something easy if it's a weeknight start drawing some boundaries and saying no. Good lord, not the asshole what an ungrateful drama queen. You made a mistake, admitted it, and provided a perfectly good backup. She's ridiculous. Not the asshole. Having a family member who suffers with celiac disease, I know how difficult it is to make sure foods and other substances don't contain gluten. You were trying to be a gracious host to a couple who, in your own words, imposed themselves on you at an inconvenient time for which you had to rearrange your working day. As far as using miso, I often use miso or tamari to add a savory flavor to sauces. Just don't invite Gertrude anymore. Not the asshole Gertrude has been very rude. It was an honest mistake and you gracefully provided her with an alternative. She seems entitled. Urging you to cook on a busy day and then complaining because she didn't get to eat what she prefers. Your Natar and these people are not your friends. They're users and rude. Cut off contact and move on. No loss for you. Not the asshole, found a problem before it became a health issue. Gertrude on the other hand is unhinged, saying her dinner was ruined. I hope you never cook for them again. Not the asshole. Gertrude needs to learn some manners. There was nothing socially inept about Mark and Casper eating the stew, it was there to be eaten. You made a simple mistake it wasn't out of ignorance or made deliberately, it was just a simple mistake and you offered an alternative. It's not your fault Gertrude is a graceless, vengeful moron. 
Personally, she'd never be invited back to my house again unless she offered a genuine apology for her behavior.